So I'm just gonna kind of talk about quickly my latest uh, products that I'm really enjoying right now. And I know I kind of did a recent video of my Sephora haul and my Morphe spray. It's not my Morphe spray, but I'm just gonna do a quick spritz because it's really hot in the filming studio today. Oh, I just love it. And a lot of you guys actually reached out and said that you guys never used um, a setting spray and I am just floored hearing that because it's just, to me, it's so such an important aspect to ha doing your makeup. It just sets everything. Even if it's like a daily, like, you know, not a heavy glam makeup, it seriously still sets your makeup for the day. So you get to kind of prolong all your products. So which is really, really nice. So next, I am really crushing on this Dior foundation right now. It is one of my favorites and I've talked about this quite often too. It's backstage. It's number 4WO is my shade. But I mean, sometimes you have to mix shades and stuff depending on your summer color. However, it comes in a lot of different shades. I'm pretty sure it's one of the newer foundations that come in all, a lot of shades. Not like Fenty Beauty, but similar. And I'm really into my Vizine Art. I think it's called Vizine Art, Viz, Viz, Viz Art. No, sorry, it's called Visa Art. I don't know, I've always said this, I butcher names, I don't freaking know. But I'm obsessed with this brand. It's a little bit more pricey, but um, what I love about it is that it's got the nice matte blendable colors. And they almost kind of like, uh, my girlfriend and I were talking about it this morning, um, they're kind of like, they're kind of like butter and they kind of just melt together, but they don't give you that, that crazy, um, like, just dewy look it kind of mattifies everything down but I really love it and the best thing for an eyeshadow that you really need to look into anyways is blendability and also if you're looking for quads make sure your quad always has a black in it because that is something you can't live without when you're doing makeup because you always need some kind of darker shade like especially black to work around with under your eyes or even like to smoke out something it's always a good thing to have next I'm gonna be talking about my one of my favorite moisturizers that I use instead of using any serums or any kind of like I'll use serums and I'll use um what are they called primers and all that stuff but what I love and I always reach for this is my Pond's cream I love it it's cheap and <laughs> it works well it holds all my um, foundation down and it just keeps everything intact for me so I'm obsessed and this is what I love using so if you're looking for a cheap cheap alternative to not having to use serums or not serums serums for your face at nighttime is important but you know like you have all the face oils to use as primers and all that stuff i don't know i don't think you have to get so fancy you can just use some ponds they should sponsor me right camille and lastly i'm going to just talk about one of the powders i think every beauty guru and every person i know has talked about is the laura mercier powder it is a very finely milled powder and it is very 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 nice and you can honestly this is probably like my like eighth or ninth repurchase and I'm obsessed with it. It's just a really good all in all powder that you could really, really use for any touch ups during the day to bake with anything, whatever you want. So if you guys haven't subscribed, please do so and like and comment on this video and let me know what you guys think.